and we're on. I got an email from the Jill Stein campaign, Jill 2024. Dear Carol, earlier today we sent you an email about Kamala. We want to follow up with some opposition research about the candidate. The Democratic Party appears to be coronating who has zero delegates. First, let's look closely at her record as Attorney General, California's top cop. Her office fought tooth and nail against an order to decrease the inmate population after the Supreme Court ruled that the severe overpopulation of the prisons amounted to cruel and unusual punishment. Her AG office attorneys explicitly argued that prisoners were needed to prop up the state's firefighters needed to combat the wildfire crisis. These inmates were making $1 an hour for this dangerous work. Kamala jailed the parents of young people who were skipping classes. Yeah, I remember her truant officer act, and she laughed about it. In 2014, Kamala refused to investigate a series of police shootings in San Francisco where she had previously been district attorney, ignoring pleas to do so following the police murder of Michael Brown. Now let's look at the Gaza genocide and where she really stands. Her presidential can campaign coffers include access to five, three ninety five two twenty seven. That's dollars five three ninety five two twenty seven of contributions from AIPAC. She has stood by as the Biden administration has provided approximately $25 million a day in military aid to Israel that has enabled them to carry out this genocide against the people of Gaza. Please forgive me for not, I have trouble reading large numbers. She co-sponsored a resolution condemning Obama for his failure to veto a UN resolution denouncing illegal Israeli settlements in the West Bank. She waxed poet, poetic about the Israeli Supreme Court's architectural design, saying the beauty of the architecture and spirit of design left a lasting impression. The court, like Israel, is a beautiful home to democracy and justice in a region where radicalism and authoritarianism all too often shape government. This is just the tip of the iceberg. Between her political history and her dismal polling, she is clearly a terrible candidate, but the billionaires love her. She has raised tens of millions since Biden's endorsement of her on X, formerly Twitter. And I live in California. Californians are lapping up her speeches. They love her. I keep hearing on the local news, California loves Kamala Harris. Jill Stein doesn't have billionaires, super PACs, or lobbyists. This is international. This is intentional. Whoa. Try to slip of the tongue. She doesn't have lobbyists, billionaires, super PACs. Jill Stein doesn't. This is intentional. Jill wants to represent you, not big donors. AIPAC or Wall Street. Okay, um, the website is www.jillstein2024.com. There's an alternative to the two-party system. I understand that uh, people are rallying because Kamala Harris is uh, speaking up now. But I'm still voting for Jill Stein. America needs a doctor, not a cop. America is ill. America needs healing. Jill Stein can do it.